Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add mixed numbers. Now, I'll go through one example, which should be helpful for anyone looking for a quick review or refresher, whether you learned this recently or years ago. If you need more help or examples, I dropped links to other videos on this topic down in the description. Let's jump into our example where we have 5 and 2 sevenths plus 4 and 2 thirds. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this problem vertically, so up and down, lining up the fractions and whole numbers. So we'll start with 5 and 2 sevenths plus 4 and 2 thirds. So once we do that, we need to find a common denominator. We're not able to add because we have a 7 and a 3 for our denominators. We need a common denominator in order to add the fractional part of these mixed numbers. So in order to find a common denominator, we need to find a least common multiple. And that's going to be our least common denominator. Now you may be able to figure out what the least common multiple between seven and three is without writing out the multiples. But as a review, I'm going to come to the side here and we'll write out our multiples and I'll show you how to find the least common multiple. And again, that's going to be our least common denominator. So let's start with seven and I'm going to write out the first four multiples of seven. Now the multiples go on forever. So my suggestion, write four or five. See if you have any in common. If not, you can always extend your lists. So seven, 14, 21, 28. Now we'll write the first four multiples of three. So three, six, nine, 12. And we don't have any matches there. We don't have anything in common. So let's extend our lists. Now seven, we're already at 28. And for our multiples of three, we're only at 12. So let's extend that list. So then we have 15, 18, still nothing in common. And then we have 21. So 21 is going to be our least common multiple and therefore our least common denominator. So that's what we're going to use. So once we have that common denominator, we're going to rename the fractional part of our mixed numbers with that common denominator. That way we'll be able to add. So let's go over to our mixed numbers here and rename. We do not need to do anything with the whole numbers. So this is going to be 21. So let's use equivalent fractions to rename that two sevenths with a denominator of 21. So we need to think, how do we get seven to equal 21? Well, seven times three is 21. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent. Two times three is six. So six twenty-firsts is equivalent to two sevenths. We're not changing the value of the problem at all. These are equivalent fractions. We're just renaming using that common denominator. Let's bring the addition sign over and then we need to do four and two thirds. Again, we do not need to do anything with the whole number and we have a common denominator of 21. So let's think, how do we get three to equal 21? Well, three times seven is 21. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent. So two times seven is 14. So now we're ready to add. To recap, we found our common denominator of 21. Then we renamed the fractions of our mixed numbers using that common denominator of 21. Now that we have a common denominator between our fractions, we're able to add. So let's add our fractions and then whole numbers. So for our fractions, add the numerators. Six plus 14 is 20. And then we keep our denominator of 21. So six 21sts plus 14 21sts equals 20 21sts. 
So we added our fractions. Now let's add the whole numbers. So five plus four is nine. So our final answer is nine and 20 21sts. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Well, 20 21sts is in simplest form. The only common factor between 20 and 21 is one. So we are done. And our final answer is nine and 20 21sts. So there you have it. There's how you add mixed numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.